this gun sucks, man. All of these guns, just look. Too many recalls in them, man. I miss everything. This gun sucks. The gun sucks? No, man. It's just horrible shot. Hello guys, Terra Arts Movie here with another exciting tutorial and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do this. So we got a ramp review this one. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Boom. So today we are going to be learning on how to add some muzzle berry allen on your footage. Alright, so as you can see here, we got uh, <laughs> muzzle flash and uh, we got some smoke going on here. Woo! And then some shell casting. Coming out from the gun, of course. And if we ramp review this one more time, you can see that boom, to boom, boom. Looks really, really good. All right, so let's just get started. First of all, of course, you gotta import your footage onto After Effects. Click and drag it to the new composition, and there you go. You can see some desperate people with the gun here. And <laughs> we're gonna go to just here. I'm just gonna trim my video B, and then with B, and there you go. N and right click and trim comfortable area. All right, so there you go. We got some clip here, and we're gonna add some muzzle flash now for the muzzle flash. Lots of you guys been asking me where did I get my muzzle flash. Well, I got a lot of muzzle flash clip, but today I found a website, a very cool website called roadypolis.com, and they got this shoot shootout stock pack. For only twenty dollars, so I think it's here twenty dollars, and this is the pack. I already got it here. Woo, really cool! And inside it, they got, they got blood, bullet hits, muzzle flash, shell casing, smoke puffs, and texture. This is already great if you want to do some action, you know, action movie or something. And yep, today we're gonna use this. So, if for you indie makers that you know maybe you got a problem with your budget. This this pack is good, all right? So nineteen dollars with a great great quality. All right, so let's just get started with the tutorial. All right, so inside the inside the pack you will have blood, bullet hit, bullet hits, and muzzle flash and everything. Of course, we're gonna go to muzzle flash and go to handguns, and then the dim flares for the handguns here. I'm gonna choose the dim flare front two. Click and drag it to After Effects, and then click and drag it to your footage like so. Alright, so we're gonna turn it off a little bit. We're gonna go to where ah there you go. To where it's kinda kicked back. Boom, just like so. But we want to put it on this position right here. So we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna position it right here. But we want to start it when it starts to kick back just like so. Boom. So on this position, you're gonna click your layer and alt and uh, alt big and bracket and alt and bracket boom basically it will cut your video so it will just run for one frame like so if you ramp preview this as you can see here boom boom there you go all right now next uh, as you can see here it, it it's still not blend correctly all you gotta do uh, go to toggle switch modes and you will find normal if you're if you already on this normal and etc then it's fine but if you if you are on this um, 3D and everything, and just go down here to toggle switch modes, and there you go. And change from normal to screen for me. There you go. But depends on your footage, of course. If you are, if you find uh, add, maybe it's better for you. Just add or lighten. Ooh, there you go. Lighten for me is just screen. All right. So next. We're gonna add some glow to our muzzle flash. As you can see here, uh, the glow is kinda not realistic. So you can go to effect, stylize, glow, right? So, uh, a lot of people I saw um, a tutorial, tutorial on YouTube as um, put some glow here. But sometimes glow is not that good. Sometimes, it, sometimes it will change the color. Sometimes it will change the shape of your muzzle flash so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that instead I'm just gonna click on the layer and control D to duplicate it and go to effect blur and sharpen and go to Gaussian blur and we're gonna punch the blurness up to around 400 if you hold shift you can do it faster 
to 400. There you go. So as you hear, we get a glow going on. So, we go, already get a glow. Here I'm review this. Boom. 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 Already looks good. Alright, next, we want some. As you can see here, if you back to here, um, when you shoot your muzzle flash, you got some reflect reflection on your head here a light reflection on your hand so you see here before and then boom there you go so to do this you're gonna go to layer new solid and we gonna pick a color from your muzzle flash boom like so click OK and go here click and hold it and choose ellipse tool and create some roundy shape like so and then go to mask open it up feather it up to around 700 or 800 for me like so and double click on the mask here on the line of the mask double click boom boom and then move it to your muzzle flash you can make it bigger if you want there you go and we gotta change it from normal to add and after that it will ooh, so glowy like so so we're gonna um, mask opacity here we're gonna bring it down a little bit maybe around uh, 70 yep 70 should be good and then we're gonna put this solid below your um, muzzle flashes layers all right there you go and then of course click on the solid layer here alt begin bracket and alt and bracket so basically it will cut it like so or you can do it manual manually like this there you go. <laughs> Ramp with this again. Boom. Boom. Looks really good. So next we need the smoke. Now on this uh, product right here, you already got the smoke. It's really cool. So main files and smoke puffs. I use the new smoke puffs and puff front three. So go to project, click and drag it to After Effects like so. Boom, where is it? There you go. And place it to your scene. Pew, like so. Now as you can see here, we're gonna see. Yep, that's where the smoke puffs came out. So we're gonna trim it just like so. Move it to where our muzzle flash. And then we can scale it up. Scale it up. Just make it big. And of course, move it to where the um as a flash yes and if you ram preview this you already got the smoke boom 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 there you go and the next thing of course the shell casting now the shell casting we're gonna go to um main files and shell casting and we get some handguns oh by the way this is the video but i'm just gonna use the texture here click and drag it to after effects Chicka boom and then drag it to after effects I'm gonna flip it just like so. I'm gonna move it up here. There you go. Where where it gonna be? The mount. There you go. And then of course we're gonna trim it. I'll begin bracket again. And then we're gonna open this up. Position. We're gonna set some keyframe here and move a couple of frames, maybe here, and then just move it down out of your um, shot. And if you ramp preview this, it will have something like this. Boom. Boom. It goes down just like so. But uh, we got to move into the middle um, uh, between these two keyframes. Uh, and then we're going to go like this. So it will have some curves. So it will look more realistic. Instead, uh, instead the, bulls, the bulls just just going down like so. It, like so. <laughs> it will have some curve like so if you if you ramp preview this again boom 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 all right so still it doesn't look so realistic so go to the um this layer and go to effect and uh color correction and brightness contrast we're gonna put the contrast down well basically this is just a color correction basically the idea is to match it with your scene so maybe like so and it, it doesn't have to be so perfect because we're gonna add some motion blur anyway. So toggle switch modes back to this enables motion blur. 
and then also this one a double motion blur boom there you go if you play this again boom you already got a very very cool looking muscle flash scene all right so next you gotta do what you gonna do you gonna add some color grading on your video and there you go by the way um a lot of you guys have been asking me about uh, my software for color grading. I use Magic Bullet Mojo from Red Giant Softwares. Just search it through Google. Mojo, Magic Bullet Mojo for color grading, and you will find it. Boom! There you go. It looks looks nice. And by the way, this is for handguns. For the machine guns, for example, here I got another clip. You will get this clip along with your um, pack in the tutorial folder. Tutorials, as you can see here, you get this clip. If you want to train, uh, you know, one if you want to try it out, and uh, yeah, for machine guns, we can instead of uh, well, basically it's just the same. You can you gonna duplicate it and put some Gaussian blur blurness to around 400 there, and but instead of you add some solid here for the reflection, I use some solid here, as you can see here. There you go. By the way, I also use this technique for my video here, the weapon hand, as you can see here. This is an explosion. I I don't add some glow on this explosion. Instead, I add some solid to blend everything. So as you can see here, uh, if you look closely, you get some uh, some kind of glowy uh, thingy here, around here, on this part. I don't use a glow effect on the fire. I just add some... Um, something like this a solid a circle solid and change it to add and it will blend perfectly for the fire and the scene all right so that's just a little tip from me but let's say you have some machine gun is that you uh, you know add some um, a solid layer per per frame as you can see here a lot of <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of solid uh, layer here for machine gun uh, I'm just duplicated one more time and then uh, for the blurness here I punch it up to around 1400 and change it to add change it the layer to add and put it below everything so basically instead you you are using a solid you are using the you're gonna use the um, layers you just gonna duplicate the layer one more time and then change it to add I set the blurness up around five hundred uh fifteen hundred maybe and then there you go you will have this glowy thingy on your um uh reflection so as you see this before after we're gonna turn it off uh before after oh sorry wrong <laughs> this one before after for after see no reflection here and then after boom there you go. All right, so that's it. And um, for the machine gun, of course, you have this um, shell casting going on. You can go to main files, shell casings, and machine guns. And there's a bunch of cool uh, thing here. Look at that. Just put it inside After Effects. It's already had some motion blur. There you go. All right, guys. So Terra Arts movie here. And thank you for watching. There you go. But Master Flash, you always ask me about this. This is a tutorial, and uh, yep, uh, the link on for the website you can uh, find it in the link in the description down below. Uh, just buy this shootout stock pack. It's really cool. By the way, they also they also have uh, uh, um, another cool pack here, like 3D weapons. Maybe if you want to use, I already have it here too. Uh, I already got it. Just want to show you guys 3D weapons pack here, and basically it's a 3D. You can use it for element 3D inside After Effects. It's really really cool. There you go. This is the preview example and etc. and etc. All right, guys. So there are movie here. I hope you find this tutorial yes follow and uh, see you in the next cool videos and tutorials. Ciao. All of these gun sucks. Oh man. <laughs> okay.